Hi, my name is Varun Rao, and I will be demonstrating the smiley face recognition system. So, basically, the way this project works is we will have a, a smiley face like this, where the user will basically draw a smile or a frown or some neutral line, and the program will, <coughs> will determine the sentiment of that shape that the user draws, and then output a sentence like, I'm feeling happy or sad or whatever it is, depending on, on the smile. So, for example, a smile like this will probably output something like, I'm feeling happy or I'm feeling joyful or I'm feeling cheerful, something along those lines. Whereas a smile that's a frowny face, so here we get, I'm feeling jolly. Whereas if we have a smile like this, you know, obviously you'd expect it to be something like I'm feeling sad or something negative. And you'll see that it's, yeah, it's pretty accurate and it's kind of depressing. Um, and so the, the cool thing about this project is that it not only determines whether something is happy or sad, but it also determines how happy and how sad it is. And to demonstrate that, if I take a smile like this, which is clearly more sadder than the smile, the, the frown that I had before, the program will understand that, BYOB will understand that, and it'll output something that is more sad. Likewise, if I have something like this, it'll output a word that is more happy than the the word we had before. And we'll just take a look at that and it does. So heavenly is pretty much as happy as you can get. Uh, it also does neutral. It's pretty much just a straight line. And we shall see. Oh, there you go, nonchalant. So now how does this actually work? Uh, well, one problem we ran into in the beginning of this project was we didn't really know how to actually get data from the pen. We liked the idea of using the pen, but we didn't know how to actually get data from it. So originally, in the when, when we first talked to our TAs about it, we said, okay, we'll just make a grid and have users click on different points in the grid and have a very rough smile. But, you know, we, we saw that doing something like that was pretty lame. So we decided that we definitely wanted to use the pen, and we just had to be a little bit more clever about how we read data from the pen, because BYOB doesn't have a native way of doing that. So what we did, and what I will demonstrate here, is if you have a smile like this, normally we would have no way of understanding where how this smile what the smile looks like. So what we did is we mapped a bunch of sprites that basically fall down like this and when they hit the color of the pen they stop and they tell BYOB exactly what is where this smile is and uh, that basically acts as an X and Y position on a coordinate plane which we then can use mapping, we, we then can use uh, mathematical formulas to determine the concavity of the shape, the coefficient of the sentiment, and then actually output a word like good or unbiased or, or whatever the case may be. So, show another example of that. If we have a frown like this, the points will fall, they'll stop when they hit the parabola, and the points are then used to determine the concavity and then uh, output a word. So now that, that's how the project works. Now let's take a look at the code. So I do that. Uh, I do this. Okay. So first let's take a look at the mapping sprites because that's what the user well, that's what's going on in the project first. So here's one of the the sprites that helps us map data. 
And you'll see here that it'll keep moving down until it hits the pen. That's pretty simple. And if it does hit the pen, then it'll go into a list called usable points. Now we do this because we want to prevent things like things like this, where you'll notice that three of the sprites are hitting the the smile, but the majority of the sprites aren't. So these sprites shouldn't be in our usable points array, or our usable points list, and so they're not. Now, uh, what we want to do now is determine which point is the vertex, because that's very important for our algorithms to determine uh, what the coefficient is for the sentiment. So this giant if statement helps determine what that vertex will be. So it'll then add the, its number, see this is sprite number four, to our list called vertices. Then once that data is done, once we have a list of usable points and we have a vertex, uh, sometimes we might not even have a vertex, which is this case right here where it's just pretty much a flat line. In that case, we don't have a vertex, so the vertices list will be empty. So once that's done, the stage is where all the real, where the the math is comes in. For each usable point we have, we find a coefficient of the sentiment. And the coefficient of sentiment is very simple. We just use uh, the vertex point formula from you know, whatever algebra class we took. And we multiply that by 1,000 to get a little bit more meaningful numbers because a smile like this would have an A that would be something like 0 .00 whatever. And it's just, it's just easier to work with whole numbers like 10 or 8. So we multiply it by 1,000 to fix that. Then we, when we finish calculating sentiments for each of these points, we find the average for the entire thing, and that becomes our sentiment. And to do that, we just use the little higher order functions right here and send that sentiment, we broadcast that sentiment to the display sprite, which is actually what the user sees when they, you know, this is what actually talks when the sentiment, when, when pretty much all of the, the work is done. So this goes and determines how strong the sentiment is and picks a word appropriate to that intensity from our list. So if it's something very positive, it'll pick a word from the extreme positive list. And that's pretty much our project in a nutshell. So, the, so a little cro closing remarks. Uh, we, we liked this project because it was, it was pretty fun to write. We enjoyed it. Um, and it, it uses the pen application of BYOB, which was nice because we'd never really seen any other programs do it in this way. So we like doing something fresh. And we'd never really dealt with this in the lab, even though we, we did have the skills to do it. So that was fun to do. And, and overcoming that challenge with the pen was, uh, was pretty nice. So we, we definitely enjoyed that. Uh, one of the other reasons that we did this project, why uh, we enjoyed it, was that we we like to see what would happen if this sort of recognition system were implemented, you know, a couple steps farther. Say, for example, a Connect had a system like this, you know, obviously a little bit more sophisticated, where it would map the smile of a human and be able to tell a human's mood. So, for example, if you walk into your living room your Kinect sees that you're smiling, it'll say, oh, you must be in a great mood today. How about some Skyrim? Or, or something like that. Uh, and so that's something that would be pretty cool. I, I know if the Kinect could do that, I'd definitely buy it. So thank you very much, and go CS10.